Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangel Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of his household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We have decided to follow Jesus. We have decided to follow Jesus. Yes, we have decided oh, to follow Jesus. I say no turning back, no turning back. We have decided, no matter how hard it might seem, child of God, it is a journey that we have entered. And through the help of God, we are not going back. Yes, it is a journey that we have embarked on. And through the help of God, we are not going back through the help of god you are not going back because backward is not the place you are heading to we press forward and we reach out to the things that are that are is it that i that are ahead of us you understand we press forward to reach the prize we press forward people have seen how i don't know i don't know how to put the word if i should say desperation you know, they have seen the zeal. Yes, the zeal. Z is the right word, not desperation. Zeal. They have seen the Z in you. They have seen the Z in you because they have seen where you are heading to. They have seen it. They are aware. There are a lot of things, there are a lot of hold up that has been set. But you get to that hold up, the hold up scatter. What are these hold ups, you know? Many things can stand as a hold up against the child of God. Many things can be hold ups against the child of God. But despite all the hold ups, you just get to the hold ups and you break it and you keep moving. That is to tell you that you have decided. That have shown them that you have decided. You have vowed. You have, you have taken your decision. You have chosen your path. You know, the Bible tells us that he has set before us life and death. And he now said, I hope you choose life. That is God encourages us. He encourages us to choose life. He encourages us to choose what is right. He encourages us to live in the right way of this life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There is an uproar. Because no matter the, the roadblocks, is it roadblocks they call it? Yes, no matter the roadblocks, you keep moving. You keep moving. Even the mountain that has been mounted against you could not stop you. Yes, <laughs> well, I'm just saying this, but I keep hearing the song. My soul magnify the Lord. Let my spirit praise His holy name. For death could not hold him captive. Oh, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Yes, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Even before Jesus rose, there were an uproar everywhere. People were worried. He said he's going to rise. Oh, he said he will rose. He said this, he said that. He said this, they, they were worried over the things he said while he was with them. You understand? So, there are some things you have said that is causing an uproar. Where they said you will not make it, you have said to yourself, I will make it. Where they said you cannot succeed, you have said to yourself, I will succeed. Where they have said to yourself, who are you? You are telling I am who God says I am. So these are the things, like you ask yourself, what have I done? Why is there an uproar against me? 
it is because you challenge the challengers. You challenge the challengers. The challengers of your life, they always want you to come and submit to them on their laps and be crying, oh, please help me. But you challenge the ability for you to stand up and challenge the challengers of your life. That makes you a winner. Have you not heard where the devil will confront his victim and say, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you this? How dare you that? But because you are serving God, we will dare. I repeat that word, we will dare. We will dare. How dare you disturb them when they are holding meeting? We will dare. They are in their meeting planning evil. You are in your house shaking head. Fire fall, fire fall upon every evil gadget. Fire scatter them. How, who is this that is disturbing us? That is how they feel about you. Who is this that is angry about us? That is how they feel about you. Because you have overcome. Because you have done what they thought that you could never do. Because you have removed all the hold ups, all the things, all the mountain. The Bible says, What art thou, mount, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain? Say, What art thou? What is the mountain before you? What is the mountain that wants you not to get to where you are going? What is the challenge? He said, all the challenge shall be called plain. Hallelujah. You are asking yourself, what have I done? These are the things that you have done. You are disrupting what they call peace. There is something they call peace in the place of their worship when no one is praying against them, when no one is challenging them, when no one is attacking them back after they have attacked people. They have peace in doing their evil. But when you start and said no, no, it will not happen. They may have silent my mother. They may have silent my father. But me, they cannot silent me. What they did against your forefathers, against your parents, and they did it so peacefully, they, it comes to your tongue. It has become a problem for them to carry out. There will be an uproar. These are the things that you have done. Because you have challenged the challenger. You have challenged the challengers. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The enemy thought that the grave could hold Christ. That is how they also look at you. They thought that the problem they put you in can hold you down. They look at you like the challenges can stop you. Oh, look at her now. Look at him. Look at what they are going through. It will stop them. They see that that thing even become a stepping stone. For you to grow more and more in boldness. For you to excel more and more in, in boldness. You understand? So this is why there is an uproar against the people of God in this generation. Child of God, you will not be silent. You will not be silent. They could not silence Christ. For we are Christ-like. For we are the, are the representative of Christ. For we are the ambassadors of Christ. Then how will they silence? If they silence us, it means that they have silenced everything about God on this earth. But God has his representative in every region, in every nation, in every family, in every home, in every place. No matter the country, how tight, even if they have Shara law, they have different kinds of law that said there should be no Christian, in that place there will still be Christians. There are people that are still representing Christ. No matter how tight the nation is, no matter how tight the community is, there is still somebody that is representing Christ. They might want all of them dead. God will keep hiding them because the things of God cannot be wiped out. That would be a victory for the devil. If everything of God is wiped out. 
and it can never be. The reason why they are angry, because you, <laughs> because, because you are removing all the all the hold ups and you are marching on. The Bible says, "Upon us he built the church, and the gate of hell will not prevail. The gate of hell will not prevail against you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you." And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.